Hello everybody, I'm here again with another Meet the Actor. This time I'm here with Dylene Fawn Harvey. Hopefully I said her name correct. I have been Close practicing <laughs> uh, practicing her name. I've probably got it wrong anyway, but <laughs> how, it's all right. how are you? I'm fabulous, thank you. How do you pronounce your actual name? It's Di Lin. See? Yeah, that's close enough. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, most people would probably recognize you from a lot of Todd Sheep movies. So Clown Nado, Bone Hill Road, uh, Dreaming Purple Neon, and yeah. uh, Amanda Payton's part of Sleepless Nights he was in as yes. well. Uh -huh. There you go. The Crawler. And yep. Antoine Steele did a, a zombie short in that one also called It Hits the Fan. So there you go. So yeah. that's just just few of the things you're, you're <laughs> you've been in, but I'm sure we will talk about other things momentarily. So, jump to the first question, which is, how did you get into acting? Well, that's uh, funny because uh, the first first time I got into acting was about 2009. Uh, someone posted that they were looking for an extra for a stripper part or whatever, and I'm like, oh, hmm, I'm interested. Give that a <laughs> shot. So. <laughs> So it was a one-time thing, like back, like I said, back in 2009. Uh, fast forward several years later, I hadn't really done anything. Uh, started to dabble in modeling a little bit, and then got started was getting curious about more stuff, kind of searching through Google a little bit. But uh, then, as I was modeling, I came along a photographer who was a who did film stuff in the the local TV station, and uh, he wanted to do the a 48 hour film fest, uh, yeah, film contest for Kansas mm -hmm. City. And he asked if I'd be interested in that. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. And that was 2012. So that was my actual first speaking role, the second time being on film. And after I did that, I was like, well, that was a lot of fun. So about 2013, I really started to get serious about it. And I started, like I said, started Googling more, mm -hmm. uh, finding out that I really didn't have any way of getting into that kind of mainstream yeah. acting. You got to have agents or, or be part of SAG, but then you got to have a lot of credentials for SAG to be a part of that. So I'm like, well, okay, so there's got to be another way because I heard about independent films and stuff like that. So like, mm -hmm. okay. So I went into the Facebook search bar and I just threw in auditions, Kansas. And that's when I started finding all these groups for Kansas City. I'm like, oh, wow, there's more out than I realized. <laughs> <laughs> so basically Facebook is what got me into acting. And that's when I saw, met uh, Amanda Payton. She put out a call for The Crawler. Yep. And I was like, hey, I would love to audition for this. So I went down, I auditioned, so nervous. <laughs> Pretty sure that was quite evident too. And I think my husband at one point, I'm like, I don't know why I'm even here. All these girls, I was like, I got so much more talent than I do. It's my first time auditioning for anything. And just like, just go, just do it, just do it. It's for fun, right? Yeah, well then do it. So I did. And ever since then, I've been working with them, so. So that was your first role. So I guess we'll change the question slightly. What was your first uh, sort of speaking role? Not, I mean, not, not, not like a couple of lines. I mean, maybe a few extra lines. Well, that would be the crawler. That, that my first official getting out there role would be mm. the crawler for Sleepless Nights. Yeah. And but, well, you've kind of answered this already, but how long have you been doing it? So I guess we'll slightly change that question as well. So <laughs> how, how, well, long have you, how long have you been doing it as a being paid for it that put it that way oh well that would be just this year <laughs> <laughs> but as far as getting experience and really getting into my feet wet would be about six years yeah the last six years so so um, that's with mostly with manda and todd mostly todd sheets he just ever since i did that first movie with them mm. he started writing all the, the movies like hey i got a part for you hey i got another part for you hey i want you to do these two these next two movies and he's got like three more lined up already for me to do. So we're just waiting for things to pick up now. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's good though. Obviously you must have um, left a mark with him to be able to go, I, I want to yeah. use you again and again and again. Yeah. And I did see you've got a, I, that I clownado poster behind you. <laughs> it's a clownado poster behind you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's actually. My husband had that made for me for Christmas. All right. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh, is it is it one that you potentially got done for the actual film? But no, it's not. It's a Christmas yep. present. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it's actually he put it on canvas for me. So oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yep. Okay, so um, obviously this question is 
probably going to end not very well. But what have you been working on, currently working on, planned work? Because, of course, everybody's work is kind of at a hold at the moment. But Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We actually did, we finished up a film in January, February, March. We took about, about three months with Todd. Uh, we finished up, um, I can't say what the name of it is yet because he's been, we've been waiting for him to release it. Mm-hmm. He's been doing other stuff, getting edited together and trying to get, I guess, backers for it maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, it's for promotional stuff. Right. Um, but he's getting ready to release it soon. So we'll be able to release the posters and everything he's got together. So close. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I wish I could say it now. <laughs> but uh, uh, I have a part in that. And uh, I almost didn't think I was going to get a part because my husband had back surgery and I was taking care of him for a while mm-hmm. back in December. Uh, but then their deadline, they, they ended up getting uh, pushing it forward or delaying it. And so by the time they were ready to film, my husband was doing better on his feet and stuff. And I was able to, to get out and help him out with this. So I was able to get a part yeah. into that one again. And then we got that finished right before quarantine hit us. So we got it by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Brad Thomason actually got a hold of me because I'm set to do a, a, um, a film with him later this year. But he got a hold of me and said, hey, do you think your husband would be willing to do a couple of shots at home on his phone? Cause he wanted to do put together an anthology mm-hmm. that would stay at home inspired. I'm like, I think I might be able to twist his arm a little bit. So <laughs> we did, we did a werewolf style movie it's called a uh, redneck werewolf or something like that. Oh, mm-hmm. I wish I had the correct name for that. I'm sorry, but uh, you get the point of that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was fun to do. That was very interesting. And my husband did a pretty good job on that. Just, because he's not a camera person, he's not a movie person at all, and he's just like, grumble, 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 because <laughs> he had to fight with so many shadows, and at one point, he goes, dang it, Todd, you make this look so easy when you're on set with you. <laughs> so so, so like, your, your husband hasn't gone, oh, actually, I think I might, uh, might become a director. He hasn't taken, no. <laughs> no, nope, not his cup of tea. <laughs> well, it's just, it's just you then going to be in front of and behind the camera somewhere along the line. Right. You never know. You might yeah. be doing some writing projects, possibly. <laughs> so he doesn't mind helping out, but it's definitely not his thing. <laughs> so one of these films is something that you oh, I can't remember what the title is now. I had it literally just in my head. You, you <laughs> was dressed up as a unicorn. What was that? Oh, yep, that would be the one with Brad Thomason. Uh, that is called Backwards Bubba. That's what it's and, called. Mm-hmm. We're getting ready to open up the Indiegogo for that July first. Uh, and we'll have a lot of stuff up there available for the perks. The costumes are going to be one of the perks, mine and the other <laughs> the girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I've seen the costumes. Uh, interesting looking costumes for a film. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good story behind that, so it, it's pretty unique. It's pretty fun. Well, I look forward to seeing it. So, um, obviously, the next one is, what advice have, do you have for upcoming actors or people just want to get into the film industry? Um, just patience is key. Uh, mm-hmm. Take your time, look things up, do what I did, search. Um, a lot of people like to ask other people how they did it. You can do that. Some may give you advice, some may not, but your best bet is just to look it up yourself. Yeah. Get as much information as you can. Um, after you've done, get your wet, feet wet and with some independent filmmakers, go ahead and get yourself an agent because that will help you out a lot too. Um, they can do all the hard, hard work for you. It's worth the money, but most of them will ask for like 20% or 10%, depends on, depends on where you go, which agency you go with, but yeah. it's worth it. It's worth paying them that. Um, the other ex, uh, advice I would say is um, don't be afraid to say no to something you're not comfortable with. Mm. Don't, don't feel like you're being pushed because you think you have to take every role to make it. You don't. Uh, do what's right for you. Uh, it's okay to say no. Know your worth. Know what you're worth. If you don't feel comfortable in that, don't do it. It's okay to say no. Mm-hmm. There's always going to be something else to do. Um, you know, <laughs> do what you want. Do what you want to do. And if it's something that is risque and you don't think people are going to like it, but you want to do it, do it anyway. It's for you, not for them. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Enjoy it. Absolutely enjoy what you want to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you a curveball now. I'm gonna throw an extra question in. So. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever do anything behind the cameras? Have you ever been tempted to maybe write something or think, oh, I could do that? Well, I, I, I went to, uh, I did like a homeschooling thing for short story writing. That was like several years ago. I thought about trying to write again, but it's just, 
I don't know, things get in the way. <laughs> it, you never know. <laughs> you just gotta you never know what life's going to throw at you. Stay in front of the camera for now and see where it takes you. For now, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, I may do something. You never know, no. just, especially just for the experience. I've been told that it's good to get that experience just mm. to see what it's like on the other end. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, if, you, if you're on the other side of the camera, so like sort of Todd Sheet's side, you'll be a... Uh, you know, you would see how he sets up a frame and all that kind of yeah. thing, can't you? So, yeah. Okay. Well, your last question is promote yourself. If you've got a YouTube channel, say what that is. If you've got a website, say <laughs> what that is or anything else or any other projects. Yeah. You, you can find me on Facebook. I have a like page and I have a regular page. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm on, well, I have Twitter. I'm not on it as much, but I do have one. I'm on Instagram. Easy to find. My name's pretty, pretty easy to Google and find. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> well i'm on imbd so you can see my credits on there yes i did look at that before coming on here and i was like i've got a lot of films that she's in <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for your time i will let you get back because for you it's what coming up to five o'clock is it somewhere around there yeah so, yeah something like that yeah some afternoon for you <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> well thank you for your time no problem thank you i appreciate it i will stop